Today on the menu, it's a fantastic mixed vegetables on the pan Italian style. It's called Vignarola Romana with a phenomenal blend of spring vegetables. As a bonus, we're gonna show you how to turn this fantastic side dish into a phenomenal seasonal pasta dish. Let's get started. As you see, we're talking about vegetables that you will find anywhere in the United States or elsewhere as well, because we're just talking about artichokes, peas, fava beans, lettuce, and uh, some fresh mint. So you can do this every day. This is a simple dish, traditional dish of Rome and Lazio in general, rich of content and taste, but on the other hand, with not so much calories. In fact, all the calories you, you will have in this dish are coming from the olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil that we just added. So if you wanna make it even more dietetic, just add less olive oil than what you've seen right now. And the spring onions, nice and tender. And it's time to put down the next veggie, which is the artichokes. Why this order? Because some vegetables take more time to cook. So we start with the ones that do require some extra minutes of cooking. Artichokes, indeed, is one of them. And now we'll let it go for five minutes, give it a take, lid on, before adding the next vegetable, which is gonna be the fava beans and the peas. Into the mix. Dentro. Dentro. Giriamo. We we'll add a little extra water and then put the lid on and we're gonna cook it for about 15 minutes before we check. We need to check, of course, that everything is nice and tender. And also we had our beautiful mint. And the dish is ready, it's ready to be served. And now that our vegetables are made, let's crank up a notch and elevate this dish into something even more tasty. You may not know, but fava or broad beans and Pecorino Romano cheese are a fantastic couple. And in this dish, in fact, we're gonna marry the two. So what we're doing here, we're creating the base for the cacio e pepe, which is cream, kind of like a custard actually, which is made with the pecorino and the water from the pasta. You have to remember, always when you make this cacio e pepe or when you make this pecorino mix, that the pecorino coagulates at a temperature of 59, 60 Celsius, so if you pass that point, you can only expect the worst. Never ever put heavy cream in those preparations. It's just something that you do not need. You do not need heavy cream to generate this. Mi pare proprio che ci siamo. Buff. Eccola qui, la nostra bella vignarola è dentro la pasta. A questo punto un altro goccetto d'acqua, ma poco, poco poco. And there you have it. This improvised dish shows you how versatile this mixed vegetables is. Buon appetit. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for more recipes like this from Italy and beyond.